What's up guys, we're back with one day at a time. So this arcade I have an order from bestbuy.com. I believe it's ex exclusive on the Best Buy website because I try Amazon and Google it. The only one I can find it in Best Buy. There are other ones that are similar like this, but what's special about this is the specific one is uh, this one have Wi-Fi to it. That means you can link your Wi-Fi to it and then you can verse other people that also have this arcade, uh, whoever is using the same arcade that, that also use Wi-Fi service, you can go into the option and you can verse them, like you can fight against real people, not just like a computer. So that's why it's special about this one. If you have followed my channel, I have an arcade room that I built downstairs. So this is uh, an additional piece to the room. I will, when I edit this video, I will, I will include a clip of my arcade room so you know um, what I'm talking about. So already, I, this, uh, this company that built this arcade is called Arcade1Up. So I have already ordered from them. I'm pretty happy with the product. Uh, the joystick work good, the button work good. I never have a problem with it. Kids enjoy it. The one that I have already ordered from RK1UP is the Ninja Turtle game. Pretty sure if you're watching this video, you are, a, you are somewhat a uh, game fan. Everybody know the Ninja Turtle game with the four player. Um, so I have that, I bought this from them. And then I also have the, uh, I ordered another one from uh, PrimeRK.com. Uh, also a very good company, never have a problem with it. So everything was good, volume, screen, uh, all the function. But uh, yeah, I just ordered this one because I ran into a product review online. Saw it, so I got interested because uh, it can link up with other people. That's why I like it. And it's Street Fighter. Even though I already have all this game downstairs in that uh, Prime Arcade that come with 1200 games combo, is already in there. But I like this game so much that I'm buying a separate arcade machine for it. So as you can see on the game, I'll show you real quick. I mean, it's upside down right now, but just see the game list real quick. Marvel Superhero, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, Marvel vs. Warp Gem, Marvel Superhero vs. Street Fighter, Marvel vs. Capcom. So it comes with five games. One, two, three, four, five. The main one that I'm really buying this for is uh, Marvel vs. Capcom and Super Marvel vs. Street Fighter. That's the only two I game. Game I really play all the other three is kind of like a older version of it, and I, I'm still 50/50 on just leaving it in my my regular area, dining room or living room upstairs instead of the arcade room because I'm really down there. So I feel like sometimes I want to play, but I'm too lazy to go down there, you know, because I'm by myself down there. In the living room, at least, you know, I'm interacting with the family still. I'm thinking about maybe 70% decision on leaving it up here, either in the dining room or in the living room. They're right next to each other, so it doesn't really make a difference. But yeah, for the reason I wanna, I do wanna play but a lot of time I just don't want to go down there it's cold it's isolated unless you're down there with, when I have an event but then when I have an event the kids will be all over the place I like it to play it on my one of my nights off when no one's around nice and quiet play some game while I'm waiting for dinner to be cooked something like that but anyway this video is uh, if it's not too long I will end up doing a product review at the end of the video but I feel like if it's too long I'm just gonna do it as um, a video of me putting this machine together, assembling it. If it get too long, I'll just cut it there and make this video about assembling the machine. If it's not too long after I assemble it, I'm gonna do a product review also, like turn it on, play with it, and see how it goes. Let's see what time it is, and see how long it takes. Right now it's six o'clock. My goal is trying to put this together in one hour, which is probably not possible, but I have already assembled this before with a different game than Ninja Turtle game, so I have some experience with it. I have an idea. So this time around should be faster. Last time it took me two hours to put together the, the Ninja Turtle game.
So 640, so it took me 40 minutes to complete this. The arcade itself is complete. Uh, right now what we need to do is the riser. Right here. So you build a riser, like a, you're pretty much building a box. So this thing can sit on the box to rise it up. Um, so it could be to your eye level. But the machine itself is done. It looks very nice. Joystick, button. Uh, now all you gotta do is just uh, pretty much plug it in and turn it on but, uh, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the riser too but um, I pretty much put this together very fast last time it took me two hours it took me six forty minutes for this maybe another um, another 15 minutes for this so uh, I'm gonna go work on that now before I start plugging it in and uh, do a product review so far so good so yeah I mean from the last time so I can I can still remember where everything goes and uh, stuff like that just like when you're putting together IKEA furniture, the first one takes you forever and then after that you know where everything goes and everything just click in. Oh, there's only one hiccup on this, which is the, this screw right here. They didn't drill, drill it deep enough, so we're not trying to put it in. It won't go in, so I'm going to have to use my own drill and drill it deep, deeper and then um, I'm going to put it in that way. But other than that, everything clicks in, everything where it's supposed to go, everything is good. So far so good. Alright, so let me put this to the side. I'm not sure where's the manual for this.
Yeah, that took a while. It's still a mess. Uh, so this is completely finished. Uh, it comes with a little hiccup. This this screw right here, one of the screw on the keyboard. It, they didn't drill it deep enough, so when you're trying to put it in, it won't go in. So I had to use my own drill bit and drill it in manually. But other than that, everything come out really well. I made a mistake myself. Not 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 the arcade. When I finish. Installing the arcade itself, I look down, I see one piece, and I realized during the process where I where I twist and turn and, um, the machine back and forth so I can put in the screw, one piece fell out and I didn't notice. And then when I put it up, I saw it laying there, and I knew it was a mistake. It's not important. It um, it's not gonna do any wrong if I just ignore and throw that piece away. But since I have all the power too, I'm not manually unscrewing the screw, so it'd be it's fast anyway. So I figure why not just put it in there for the peace of mind. I feel better about it. That is it. I'm gonna put it in this corner over here, and I'm gonna do uh, right now. I'm gonna clean up, and after I clean up everything, I'm gonna do a game review, and I'm gonna include it in this video. I'm gonna I'm gonna arrange that now. So I have a piece of carpet down here. I can just go ahead and push it. Nope. 
figure next to the window, uh, maybe before like an event or something. Waiting for the guests to arrive, I can peek out the window, I can play a game at the same time. Not sure how the sun is gonna bother me, but it's always a current, and the sun is actually the other direction. So, some mess right here. I'm gonna clean up, and then after that, I'm gonna do a, um, I'm gonna turn it on and do a game review. Mario What's up guys? I am checking back in. Yes, uh, earlier I cleaned up. We finished installing this, push it to the corner, I clean up the mess. The mess is still here actually. Yeah. So it's right there. That was a couple hours ago because like time was running out, I had an event to go to. Today's Friday. So uh, as you can see, it's Friday. So earlier when I finished installing this, finished cleaning up, I had to run off, I had to rush off to um, pick up some money from work and also have an event to go to. I just got back home. I figure I want to wrap up this video before um, all this clip get misplaced somehow. It's usually what happens when I don't uh, follow through with a project. So yeah, just a quick update. Uh, the package came in yesterday. There was a snowstorm plowing the snow with the snow blower, shoveling the snow in front, in front of the yard. When I edit the video, I'll include a clip. So when I came home, I didn't have uh, time to install it because I had to work on the snow. And after you work on the snow, if anybody's from New England, it's very, very tiring. You really don't want to do anything after that. So this is the following day. It arrived yesterday. It, so today I decided to put it together. As you can see, the mess to my right. Put it together in, in about an hour. Overall, everything's good. Looks good. It even come with all the moves. Usually it doesn't do that, especially the one I have downstairs. I mean, it's kind of impossible. The one I have downstairs is uh, 1200 games. So they're not going to put in the move for one specific game. Button feels good, joystick feel good. Turn it on while we're talking so it can load up. Uh, everything looks very nice. I'm turning on the volume and uh, talk to you guys. But uh, right now, currently this arcade is at the corner of my dining room. Uh, before I install it, as I was telling you guys, I was 50-50 on the fence about leaving this upstairs on the first floor in either in the living room or dining room or bring it downstairs to my basement, which uh, I do have an arcade room down there. It have the Ninja Turtle game, four player, and Air Hockey Connect Four, and this one uh, Prime Arcade with 1,200 games combo. So this would be really nice to add to the mix, you know, with the new sound, new color, new interface. It would be really nice, but the only problem is that I'm never down there. That's the reason why I want to, this time around, I want to put this up here. The only time I'm down there is when I have an event downstairs where we sing karaoke, and then, but then when that happened, there's a lot of kids here, and then they'll be they'll be in that room, and I'm serving all the adults, like um like hosting the guests. For now, I'm gonna leave this here and see how it plays out. If I end up not playing it with it sitting here still, then I'm gonna bring it down here and you know, add it to RK Mix. But for now, I'm gonna leave it here. All right, so let's get to the into the review. Uh, finished installation, everything works out good. I ran into one mistake during the installation. I, one piece fell off. One of the um, piece inside fell off while I was uh, flipping the machine back and forth to tighten the screw up. I didn't notice until I lift the RK up. I lift the machine up and then I realized there's a piece on the floor. Uh, I could have easily ignored it because that piece doesn't really do anything for the machine. It's pretty much, uh, it just adds stability, make the machine more stable. So, all right, so, so far I plugged it in, no problem. The color's nice, the graphics nice. The whole arcade's nice, the chair's nice. Yeah, uh, I'll give you guys a uh, round look. Very nice. It lights up on uh, the button. I tell you uh, punch, kick, medium, and then the move right here. Like how uh, you used to see back in the day when you go to the arcade. It's on the side. And earlier I, I told you the, um, the riser. We have to build that to lift the arcade up. Otherwise it will be too low. Too low is fine for the little kids. But this way, this height is perfect. It's still small compared to what we used to back then. Easy to move around. You can really place it anywhere in the house. So at first when I bought the, um, this type of arcade, which is the Ninja Turtle downstairs, it looks kind of like small and kind of like childish or kiddish like um, quality. Like it looks 
so small. It's just like look like for a little kid. But after a while, you get used to it. It actually look kind of cozy. It, it looks nice. Like it's not big and bulky where if you want to uh, move it around, bring it inside your bedroom or now if I want to bring it out in the basement, no problem, you know, just carry it up with two people. It's not heavy, but you just need an extra pair of hands to help you carry on both sides. So let's get to it. It's also my very, very first time of uh, getting into all the menu and detail and that stuff too. So what I'm about to find out is what you're about to find out. I'm going to try with the light off. So I think that will capture the footage better there we go uh, I just turned it on and asked me if I want Wi-Fi so I'm entering the Wi-Fi and so uh, what this Wi-Fi is it's a connect successful what it is is um this is my first time also but from seeing it online it allows us to play with other players online who uh, who also own this arcade at home So it's asking me to update the to the latest software. I really don't want to do this during this uh, review because it's going to take a long time. But it, it doesn't seem like it's taking a long time because it's going up pretty quick. Downloading pretty quick. Yeah, so I'm going to put the volume on one because last time when I did um, my arcade room tutorial, put it on like three or four, it, the camera mic is very sensitive so and it pick up everything. And then uh, in the video, it kind of interfered with my vocal. So I'm going to put it to number one. Hopefully this would do. But again, while this thing is downloading, I'll talk some more. The joystick, very nice. It clicks. You know, when you press it, it clicks. Very satisfying. The button feel nice. You press it, it doesn't stuck, it's not sticky. So right now, this is, we're in the Wi-Fi mode. It's gonna ask us if we want a local game or online game. I'm not really sure, 100%. Local maybe people around here. Online, it's maybe worldwide, I can only guess. Let's just avoid the online game for now. Let's just check out the arcade itself. It show us all the button, but it's already on here. Light, medium, heavy. Player. Yep, good height. The chair, very nice, very nice looking, very comfortable. Good height. I remember seeing in the, um, seeing in the, seeing in the video online. It, um, the keyboard, not the keyboard, but um, or the button. It, uh, it lights up. I'm not sure how to do that. I'm not even sure if this thing does that. But at least so far, this thing lights up. Wow, everything's, uh, everything is just, it's just like how it what used to be in the arcade, very sensitive, all the moves are coming out, like special moves, like that, see, very, very sensitive, actually this is a lot better than the one downstairs that I have with the 12,000 game when I go to choose to play this game, because what happened in that game, when I, I try to do all the special moves, it would not come out, I have no clue why. I can only guess because so, there's so much game on it, so uh, the way they install the game It's not really like the official version, it's probably like the downloaded or hacked version So it's not fully, fully this game, that's my only guess But um, the game downstairs, when I have level 1, level 2, level 3 I have a very hard time doing the special move, but not this one, this one it come right out um, I mean yeah, like I said, even though this is on level one, but I think when it's when I'm recording this, it's gonna be really loud. Yeah, what I don't like about arcade is you can't pause it and talk. But uh, I'm just gonna play a little bit so you guys can. Yeah, it's, you can tell. You look the air calm, it come right out. All the special moves is coming right out. One try. Anyways, okay, I'm just gonna ignore the game and leave it in the background. Um, turn off the audio. Everything is how it's supposed to be, uh, how you expect it to be. Um, actually, this is a lot better than I expected. The overall the interface very nice. Joystick feel very nice. Button feel very nice. I guess the joystick, if it's a little bit higher, be nice. But uh, it's, it's nice. 
on and on and off button, the volume button right here, you can adjust to see how loud it goes. See how loud that is? Level 15, very, very loud. You can probably barely hear me. You can probably barely hear me talking if I put on 15. You have one player button, two player button for the um, the player to enter. The Overall, the interface, let me turn on the light. Overall, the um, interface look really nice. Look at the chair, very nice, shiny, cushion, very comfortable. Interface look really nice, the riser look really nice. Uh, the design, perfect. Uh, overall, so far, I'm very happy with it. I can see that uh, I'm gonna enjoy this very much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if uh, the keyboard would light up because that's what I saw online. It doesn't look like it. I don't see any light bulb anywhere. Even when I install it, I didn't see any light bulb. Unless this black piece of thing somehow give up light, but I doubt it. It doesn't look like a light strip. But from what I see online, like this thing, LED, the light up, this whole, um, whole board light up. Uh, I really like the, um, the move list right here. They show you all the move, all the list from each and every player. Sound audio, very nice. The size, like I said, the size is not the real arcade size, like the big one that you use to stand. But it's just enough. I can see maybe if two players stand right here, it'll be a little bit tight. Unless I move it out from the wall a little bit. But uh, yeah, if that's the case, if two players are playing, I will move it out, out from the wall. It's not heavy, you could just slide right over, see? It's that easy. Um, Wow. So um, that's about it. I don't know what else to say. To uh, reset, you hold the first player button for. You hold it for like 10 seconds. Is I guess you want to leave the game? Yes. But let me check out game setting. See what's in there. So it have memory check, configuration, game data, do not cross hatch, color, sound, output, input, right, and it's telling you how to go back. Press player one and uh, shot one or exit right here number nine. So I'm gonna go back out. Yeah, it's showing you how to do air combo, hyper combo, dual attack. Meaning if you wanna do special with two people, you do down, forward, high punch and high kick. Yeah, it actually show you everything, easy mode. Uh, everything thumbs up. Uh, strongly recommend it, uh, very affordable price. This one go for 500. Usually an average price for RK up around 350 to 500, depend on, depending on what game and how many game in a combo. This one come with five game, Marvel Superhero, X-Men vs Street Fighter, Marvel Superhero vs Street Fighter, Marvel vs Capcom, Marvel Superhero, War of the Gem. So five game, but uh, some some machine, maybe like a Pac-Man or something like that, just one or two a game, or Galaga, those are, I believe those are cheaper. I'm not sure, but um, you shouldn't be paying more, more than 500 for an RK one up. Like uh, the Ninja Turtle, I pay 500 for it. So anyways, I'm gonna wrap up this video here. I believe it's way too long already because uh, I also include the assembling part of this RK from the moment it uh, I received the package and I opened the box and assemble it from uh, A to Z. Otherwise, if this is just a product review only, then I would have more time to, you know, talk about more random stuff. But I believe I have covered everything. Um, anyways, I can't really think anything from the top of my mind right now. So I'm gonna wrap up this video right here. Um, overall, if you're thinking about making a purchase, that's why you click on this video. I would strongly recommend it. Uh, all the five games, I'm probably gonna play three of them, but just this game alone is already worth it. It's uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. It's identical to what you're used to playing growing up. Other than the size, the joystick, the move, everything comes out perfectly. I can't say the same for the one that I have downstairs. I'm not uh, complaining or putting the machine down because it, it have 1,200 games in it versus this one only have five. So I think when when they install all those 1200 game, it's probably the bootleg version or the or the version that is not completed. That's why when I, when I try to do special move or when I try to do air combo, I have a very hard time. Uh, I'm probably repeating everything four or five times. Reason if one of the four or five times any part I mess up, I can just cut out and I'll still have insurance for the second, third, fourth, fifth time. But when I edit it, I'm gonna um, try to cut down as much as possible so you don't have to uh, re hear me repeating everything four or five times thanks for watching i hope this video has been helpful for those of you who are looking to buy one or, or on the fence about making a decision to uh, make a purchase go ahead and do so if you're worried about quality quality is there sound quality uh, graphic quality the machine is very very sturdy nice design nice color nice button everything thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up I'm happy with the purchase. Uh, I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Let me know if you would like to see more video like this. Any of you locally, 
looking to come and check out the game. You know where I'm at. Other than that, peace out and hope to see you again. What's up guys? I I actually already finished recording this video, but um, this is an added clip. Uh, I would like to add in after I finished the video already because uh, during the video I couldn't figure out how to turn on the LED light and I when I bought this machine um, I read the review and I watched the video and I remember this LED lights so here it is the, there was there's this black strip right here I didn't know what it was I thought it was just like um, a trim like a baseboard covering up the unfinished edge but it's actually a LED light and it turns on and there's a tiny button over here I just noticed it actually um, trying to find it last night going through all the options in in the game but I, none of the options say anything that got to do with any lighting and I was confused but then this morning when I look lower I lower my uh, my head I saw a light strip behind it so I know this is it's 100% come with light. It, I just need to know how to turn it on. And then I been playing. I actually give up. And then I've been playing for like uh, two hours now. And then I saw there's a tiny button in the corner. And I press it and it come right on. So you can change the color. Blue is probably the best color. It's it's nice. It light up the board. And then it's not too overwhelming. And yeah, they have one option that is skin through all. All different color too. During the video, I rated a nine out of ten because I couldn't find the LED lights because I thought it was like fault advertising. But now, knowing that I uh, I found it, uh, everything just great about this game. Anyways, this is an added clip, so I don't want to make it much longer than it needs to be. I just want to add in that uh, it wasn't a fault advertise. It does come with a light strip, and there's a bun on the far right corner. If you happen to buy one, I'm pretty sure it's somewhere in the menu too. I was just too lazy to go through all the pages. There's a tiny black bun at the corner. Just press it, and it'll come right on. All right, so um, this is a, actually an online mode. Right now that I'm challenging other people, this is actually real people right here. There's a name on top, that's my name, that's their name, and they're actually choosing their player right now. And this is also an added clip because uh, I was happening to play this game and then uh, I challenged it. Join in. Random player is playing. The playing pad is a whole different. It's all random. Oh, this guy's pretty good. But I beat him twice already. guy when I was playing by myself so what you do is you join a room and you just play against the real computer until a real player joins so I beat him three out of three already so and he keep on um, re-challenging me so I, right here as you can see at the top it's three zero see right there it say three zero I'm up three zero on him can't change your character so so far he's been choosing new player and new player as we go on again this is a, a added clip because um, this was a plan for I really don't know when they're gonna join or not so as I was playing they join in so I turn the camera back on to add this clip in for you guys so this is us playing against real people right now Ready. 
I mean, I keep doing the same thing over and over. I'm surprised by now he have not cracked my code yet. I'm just, I'm just attacking him, hit him in the air, and I do a combo, grab him while I'm in the air. He dead. See that? And he doesn't change character too when his uh, when his energy is low, which is weird because see, I keep on doing that over and over, and he haven't countered yet. This guy doesn't know how to do air combo. I haven't seen him attempt one air combo yet, so I'm up 5 and 0 right now. And he's gonna keep on challenging me, I'm assuming. Oh, maybe he give up? Alright, so he got beat 5 times in a row and he just give up. Now I'm playing against real computer. Because up here you can see is um, it's a continue and he's not, he's not re-entering. So when you play against a real computer, the pattern is all different. Most, but most of the time is up. Oh, he's re-challenging. Here come a new challenger. So he's back in the game, channel, challenging me again. He's keep on trying different character. This is a real person because a computer doesn't really choose player. It just keep on going to the next match and next match. And see that? See how they're tanking? They're thinking about who to play to beat me because they down five already. <coughs> That's how you know it's a real player. See, a computer doesn't go through all this, uh, all this process because it's uh, time wasting. He's thinking, oh, he's... wow, I didn't know you can choose play again. I did not know that. Oh, he's allowing me to choose new player. Okay, I'll choose new player. I actually don't know how to do that, but I guess it's doable. <coughs> all right. Oh, actually, this is a new player. I just realized that. No wonder why. No wonder why they let me choose new player. Oh man, somebody choose a slow speed. He chose slow speed and I'm used to fast speed. Everything is on like on slow mo right now. Now my score go back to 1-0 because this is a new challenger. Oh my god, I don't like that slow speed though. Yeah, choose turbo, come on. Did I choose slow on by accident?
아이야 I think I did too slow by accident. Like these two guys, my best guy, Wolverine and uh, Strider Aru. All right, I'm gonna play one more match and I'm gonna uh, clock off. Oh, this guy gave up as well. This guy gave up. All right, so it's a good time to wrap up the video. So so far, I play about eight match and I lost one, and I kind of lost that, that one on purpose. Yeah, you play with a uh, play with a computer. They're so slow. It's pretty much let you allow to allow you to do whatever you want. Alright, but uh, I'm gonna wrap up this video here, so this is how the arcade works, that's, I mean, that's the second main reason why I bought it, 
First, obviously, because uh, I grew up playing this game, really love it. I see myself enjoying playing this game and play it uh, often. But other than that, yeah, uh, versing other players is very key. Man, so it's too easy. I didn't even use my second guy yet. Uh, Alright, so I'm gonna wrap up this video. I'm pretty sure you have an idea. It's uh, very fun. It's pretty much you just play with the computer because you don't want to sit here doing nothing and wait for the challenger to come in. I think someone just joined. But they, uh, they allow me to choose new guy, that means someone just joined. So I'll play one more match and I'm gonna clock off. Hopefully it's a fast match. Wow, he chose two Venom. We are both Interesting. This guy is actually very good, but uh, I beat him. Alright, so I'm gonna wrap up this video on a good note. Uh, he's challenging me again, so I'm gonna stick with the same guy, I'm not choosing. Anytime they allow you to choose new guy, that means uh, a new challenger or you lost the match. But alright, I'm gonna check off here, thanks for watching, and um, go get one, come play with me. My name is One Day. Peace out.